everybody. Happy New Year. Happy 2020. I'm Vale Amawaki, and I know it's been a while since I've brought my art talk videos to you. I have had a really, really busy last couple of months, but I'm here to show you that no matter where you are, if you've got a little bit of creativity, a chair, a little stand, watercolor stuff, you can paint wherever the heck you want to. Before I get into what I'm doing here, Lately, I've been on a major watercolor kick, and I just want to show you a few of the ones I've done very recently. This is Dreaming Tree. It's similar to another one I've done like this in the past. Just going to show you a few of my most recent paintings. These are all watercolor. This is called Goddess Deep in Thought. So yeah, I've really kind of changed up my technique a little bit. My faces are getting a little bit more realistic in theory because you'll, you'll see in a few minutes why I say in theory. This one is actually based on a combination of Mulan and Frozen. The concept is conceal, don't feel, put on a show, make one wrong move and everyone will know. That fits Mulan just as well as it fits Elsa. When she's first going to the matchmaker and she has to pretend to be somebody that she absolutely is not on the inside and she's miserable and she is holding back who she really is. So I decided I could use that. So I did that. Then we have the most adorable baby in the entire universe, Baby Yoda from The Mandalorian, my grand obsession. Big fan. You don't even know how obsessed I am with this little darling. This is actually the second Baby Yoda painting I have. The first one I sold, the original. So this is number two, and I don't think I'll ever be able to let this one go. He's just too cute. Um, let's see what else we have here. This is Rainbow Soul. It's a cosmic being made of rainbows gazing at planets that are emerging from wherever they emerge from. And then this one was just one I was playing with some facial features and then it became this. It was going to be a normal face, and then this happened. I prefer it this way, actually. She's pretty darn cool. Very moon goddess-like, very spiritual and mystical, as much of my art tends to be. This, <laughs> what would happen if Memoirs of a Geisha and Star Wars collided? We have Memoirs of a Jedi? Yes, this is one of the Yoda species as a Geisha. Hmm, interesting. Then, finally, this one I just did today. I'm thinking of turning this one into a design for shirts and bags. And this is more of a, less of a hang it up on the wall piece and more of a put it on product piece. Because the song Lover by Taylor Swift has been stuck in my head for like two months. So I sing it constantly because at the dance studio where Julio and I are learning ballroom and Latin dance, there's a couple who are getting married soon and their wedding dance is going to be to this song. And we watched them practice before our classes and they're doing it to this song and it's been in my head ever since. So it's like, let me just get it out onto a physical form so that it can get out of my head and onto the paper. So that's clever. So what I'm drawing here, right now it just looks like a leaf, but eventually it's going to be a leaf dragon. It's going to be a cute little dragon made entirely of leaves. Some are going to be green, some are going to be orange and red. It's going to be kind of a combination of your, your summer colors, your fall colors, but it's going to be a dragon. So let me get right on to it. Have a fantastic week, everybody, and I will see you again very soon for the next episode of Vale on Hawaii's Art Talk. And as I've said in the past, all of my paintings can be purchased at my website, which will be in the description of this video. Have a great week.